Well, the man who shot at Miranda police officers on Saturday remains in the hospital. The 31 year old was wounded when officers returned fire. Well, the Digging Deeper team went into the suspect's background and learned this wasn't his first officer involved shooting. News for Tucson's Pete Murillo Digging Deeper. It was here in this parking lot on Ina and Thornydale where Miranda police officers came across the suspect. He was sleeping in his car. When they were talking to him, they realized that he may be impaired. So when he was coming out of his vehicle to get tested for DUI is when he took off. Sources tell News 4 Tucson it was 31 year old Tyler Dahlstrom who began shooting at four officers as he ran from the scene. Officers returned fire. He was wounded, and the same officers who shot at him gave him first aid until paramedics arrived. He was taken to a hospital with non life threatening injuries. News 4 Tucson has learned just seven minutes from this location, Dahlstrom was involved in a previous officer involved shooting with Pima County Sheriff's deputies in 2013. He was a passenger in a car deputies tried to pull over at River Road and Lachoya Boulevard. Dahlstrom got out of the vehicle and fled into another car driven by a friend. Deputies pulled that car over and again he tried to run from officers when he tripped and accidentally discharged a gun he was carrying. Officers returned fire. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to two and a half years. Plus, he was sentenced to another six and a half years for a previous incident that included drugs, vehicle theft, and weapons misconduct. This occurred while he was out and got involved in the first officer-involved shooting. He was sentenced to nine years in prison. A check with the Department of Corrections website showed Dahlstrom was released in January. While in prison, he was disciplined a number of times for violating prison rules. That included theft, possession of a communications device, disobeying verbal and written orders. When Dahlstrom is released from the hospital, he'll be booked into the Pima County Jail, where he'll be charged with four counts of attempted homicide and also being a prohibited possessor. Digging deeper in Marana, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.